Excuse me. Have you ever seen such a weird smile? Yes. He is this year's best dark horse horror in North America. The smile immediately became the number one box office before you watch. The timid insult the heroine Ross is a psychotherapist in a mental hospital, a new case comes to the hospital. There was a female college student named Laura who seemed to be very emotionally disturbed, but he had no prior medical history. So he got the basics Ross went into the exam room, but there was no sign of her on the stool when the door closed. He found the girl hiding in the back corner Rose said a quick hello, but Laura looked nervous and uneasy. And Rose persuaded him to walk to the bench on trembling legs, then the two began to communicate, formally, after our OSSS patient inquiry. Laura said that since seeing a professor in the school in front of her strange words, he has a lot of strange things happen one after another. For example, he often sees some other people cannot see things. They look like people, but certainly not people perhaps because Laura is the only person who witnessed the scene of the tragedy. Others think he was stimulated and caused mental illness. But Laura is very sure that he has no win. Rose asked Laura who saw them. I saw Laura's emotions began to get excited sometimes they pretended to be people he knew, he said, and sometimes they turned out to be his dead grandfather. But he knew they weren't Rose asked, reassuring him not to get too excited my Harper asks you who these people are. No it's nothing it's nothing you either wrote it down, or you made me pay for it you guys are really had the family told Laura that this was a fear he'd never felt before. And Rose asked if he'd had hallucinations before. Laura was excited again it's not an illusion. He said you don't understand what I mean Laura says excitedly that he feels like he's going to die. And Ross thinks he may be suffering from paranoia because of the provocation he tells Laura to calm down. He says he will help him. But Laura is now in a state of collapse. Rose reassures him that it is safe here. Reassuring him, but when he turned to look at him, he suddenly fell to the ground in terror and kept crawling backwards. As if something terrible had appeared behind Ross, Ross looked slowly around, too, but couldn't find anything seeing that Laura had begun to convulse. He rushed to call the caregiver for help, but when he hung up the phone and looked back, she was nowhere to be seen. He was standing a short distance away with a smile on his face and a shard of glass in his hand. Then Laura lifted the shard and slashed her face to our OSS's horrified expression he kept, smiling the whole time. It was such an exciting scene not only did it leave Ross paralyzed on the ground, but it also left an indelible shadow on his heart by the time the paramedics arrived. Laura was dead. And even after she was in the morgue, a strange smile remained on his lips it didn't take long for the police to get involved. But after a brief interview with Ross, it was concluded that Laura was mentally ill, which led to the tragedy thought this thing would go away. Cross after this incident, he also began to appear around a series of strange things in the night. He was ready to drink some wine to relieve the pressure, but when he turned his head, he suddenly saw Laura who had died during the day was standing not far away, staring at him, with a saint smile on her face, until her fiancé called out after the shock. Rose came back to his mind. There was no personnel, there it seemed that he was frightened and had an illusion the next day Rose, returns to work at the hospital, and his sister calls to invite her to his nephew's birthday party, but as he talks, Rose once again sees the dead Laura looking at him from a distance it was just too weird. But something even worse was waiting for him. Rose was walking in the hospital when he happened to pass a patient's room named Carl suddenly. Feeling wrong. He looked back. But found that Carl also had never had a strange smile Rose went to check on the situation. But Carl remained in the same position until Rose gave a little shout and Carl suddenly began to. Speak. But all that came out of his mouth was that everyone would die. Especially our OSSS doing I really year cry really looking like a psychopath. Rose called for a carer to help and waited until several men came running Carl lay back in bed as if he knew nothing. But the carers pinned him to the ground after an investigation. 
The dean began to question Rose's mental state because Carl had never shown aggressive behavior. And he suspected that Rose was hallucinating because of Laura's death give Ross a week's rest before. You come back to work. So Rose was forced to go home. But his mind was in a trance all day and the alarm in the house was always coming back to him. Suddenly. Especially from time to time when Roe.